you know, Dana, listen, you don't understand anything about risk management and probability and 1R, 2R, 3R, technical analysis. No, Dana, you're not doing well, and you've overtraded. And to get, Dana, to get where you got is not because of any skill. That's what you don't understand. You are fooled 100% by randomness. Dana, the way you traded that account, you could have not have achieved that with real money because you would have taken on too much risk. Like, it's not possible that you can do that. You would not trade that way. You'll be wiped out. So how you got to that point in time is irrelevant. No, no, Dana, there's no connection to, between the two. That's what you don't understand. There's no connection between how you trade in demo and how you could have traded for real. No, Dana, no, you emotionally can't do that. Listen, I'll call you back. I'm watching Zombie Apocalypse. Hmm. Yes, they're doing that to a guy, but they're doing it to him as Truman, so he thinks it's the walking dead. Dana, I'm not interested in your trading stuff, Dana, because it's shit. Dana, Dana, I've quantified three years of research into a very solid strategy that you haven't even bothered to fucking examine. Three years of research, Dana. 350... Ba well, that's irrelevant, but you would have done it while managing risk and having a high percent to win ratio and having a small average loss and to a big average win. You're having like two to three R trades while managing risk and buying into the weakness, buying into the weakness or selling into the strength. No, it doesn't matter at all, because you could not have put on those big trades and left them open overnight with no stop and gone £30,000 against your principal. You cannot do that in trading. You cannot get in... Okay, so today, you might have had like a good day, and those trades, if it's 13 out of 14, then you're just guessing and, and playing with it. So, if you're managing risk, then fine if you can do that, but you need to be able to do that for like six months in a row and manage risk, and then I don't care what you're doing, just keep on doing it and managing risk. So, so yeah, that's possible. Right, so carry on playing with it, but you also got to learn the shit that I'm giving you, because what you're doing might not pay off. So this is called hedging your bets. This is called a genetic algorithm. You're going to optimize your return by taking information from somebody who's optimized a pattern that you need to be able to spot. Otherwise, you're just you're just swing trading and guessing and, and playing with the markets. But but people have made a lot of money that way. It can be done, but you need to get very good at it. Like I know a trader who just looks at his ladder and looks at the chart and has no technicals on it, and he just trades at the points of price instability, but you got to know where the points of price instability are, so you got to know levels at least. Yeah, but you got to know some levels, and you got to know some, some behavior, and ultimately, the market is predictable when you understand at what points you should be buying or selling, and at what size, and when you're getting out, and, and how much you're willing to take a loss, so you can nibble away at breakout trading like that, or or momentum trading, or whatever strategy you're doing, you just got to do it really well, and manage risk, and stick to it, and over time, if there's an edge, over a thousand series of trades, the the edge will show itself in terms of being profitable, but while you're doing that, you got to like, you got to manage risk, and you can't get offside 30% on your whole account without a stop in place, because otherwise, statistically, if that happened enough with volatility, and over trading, and too much leverage, you're going to, you'd blow up. So you got to make sure that you don't blow up while you find what your edge is, and then once you know what your edge is, you got to execute it flawlessly to make money without without wiping yourself out. So don't kid yourself that trading is easy. Trading is not easy. Trading takes 
takes years, weeks, months, or several years to figure out. And it don't come easy.